Okay, uh, in the previous uh, video clip, I had a look at. Oops, let's go back. Um, I have this link here to uh, the Excel file. So we'll go into the OneDrive and we can download and open. And what previously Previously, we had looked at was the extent to which the option value changes for a given change in the value of the volatility parameter. And what we might note is that as the uh, value of volatility changes, the biggest of effect observed in the value of the option is always closest, when, is always greatest when the uh, stock price is close not exactly the same but close to the exercise uh, and uh, that we can kind of understand i might pause for a second while well, the it's loading up okay so it's loaded up uh, so enable content enable content uh, enable editing enable content and something not quite right so we might just rerun, just bring this over and rerun these values here. So data table, data tab, what if analysis, data table, and it's a column of data and go in here. The original reference to the stock price. So it should be fine. Uh, this chart here is a photo snap of the previous one. I wanted to keep it constant because as you, in the previous video, I altered volatility on the call and the vega will change each time the volatility itself is changed. So just to freeze that, to make a kind of static analysis and observe if you increase 0 0.4, what we typically find just here slightly south of 100 remember 100 was the exercise slightly south of 100 we're getting a very big effect on the option value if we decrease that it falls and again the effect is dramatically bigger in this region here than when you're deep out of the money or when you're deep in the money so most of the action is here that's the um, intuition okay so uh, let's take this out okay and just delete out some of our charts here and what we leave we leave the call and the fig okay we leave those and we can take this out I think and this if you recall is the VBA code for the Vega and that's what drives this formula here this function uh, taken from uh, Wikipedia slightly different order of variables but the same formula produces uh, these values here now what I'd like to do is replicate the Vega but by uh, using numerical techniques so okay let's delete and this calls for a slightly different type of organization of the information. So this is based on what I need to do is generate uh, two values of the call for different volatility levels. Okay, so we could imagine uh, what if the volatility was... 20%, 21% and 19%. Okay, so if we go back to Wikipedia uh, and have a look at what the Vega represents. Vega is represents the change in the value of the option with respect to change in the volatility. So measures the sensitivity to volatility. Vega is the derivative of the option value with respect to volatility of the underlying. Now we've used so far the Black-Scholes Vega 
but we also could construct a, a numerical vega that is based purely on a ratio. And um, what we might consider is what's the effect for a small change in volatility on the value of an option? And then to take develop a ratio and compare it to the analytical vega that we estimated in the previous video clip. Okay, so we'll compare it to this. Okay, we'll go back in. Um, so, um, let's generate two call values. Okay, uh, first of all, let's delete this table. And then delete this. And regenerate. Uh, the value of the vega. So just generate what is the vega for each of these stock prices. And again, data tables extremely useful here. And we're looking at this. So these are vegas for different stock prices. All the other parameters are constant. And we just change the 100 and again we note when we get close to between 90 and 100 somewhere between those two then the vega is maximized okay now let's think for a moment let's say we have running the same again another set of so uh, 10 20 and we'll drag down And what I'd like to do is estimate. So we're going to take the option value, copy, escape, and I'll paste, home, paste. And it's the same as here. And the reference, if you double click, we notice that the last, if we come in here for a moment, the last variable is the volatility so let's change that to um, 0 0.19 and reference to cell and then pull this 19 down which means it's constant and otherwise lock each of the cell references so we hit f4 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 and in fact the first cell reference will change to be 10. okay so we take this one out and we hit put 10 here and so what we have is different estimation so, okay, uh, we could set this equal to this one and drag it down as well. Um, illustrate why in a second. Okay, so if to compare this 1040 here against what we have here, if I change this to point 2, this becomes the same as this. So, if you like, what we're going to do is estimate the vega, but uh, numerically and uh, it's going to be based on uh, when vega v or sigma is equal to 19 percent okay so it's the call value when sigma is equal to 19 percent for different stock prices and we just need to change this one nine okay and then likewise we did the same so we'll try to make a little bit of space here tighten up i'll tighten this up just a little bit to make space and likewise here okay 
and we run the same function again copy escape paste same value but this time we're looking at the call value but for home paste but where the value here is equal to 21 percent okay and we widen this out a little bit just to give that space and tighten a little bit okay and now we run now why this is basically saying using the stock price if we come down here in fact if we want to get the the bsm call is generating the value of the call option where the stock price is 10 and the parameters are basically locked here and then the vega is m3 and that's m3 but we want 0 0.21 so 0 0.21 and we'll tighten this a little bit and we change the cell reference here to 0 0.21 and bring this down And of course, what we're trying to do here is generate a numerical uh, vega. Okay, so let's just pull this down. And we can see we get slightly different values for the vega, but not the same for the call. To get the numerical vega then, numerical vega I'm going to generate that by saying it's equal to d the value of the call d the sigma so in other words we're going to create this ratio starting at 20 equal to the value of the call when the so we'll take the higher value of the call equal to the higher value of the call so open brackets change in the value of the call higher value of the call minus the lower value of the call divided by the change in the volatility 0 0.2 minus the lower volatility figure and we pull this down and then we compare the Vegas so this is the analytical Vega as opposed to the numerical and we might just put that there analytical and can we see a correspondent between both sets of values well uh, this compares Okay, they're tiny. Both values are small. Virtually zero. What will we get to two here for the analytical? Very close. What will we get to 35? Very close. 13.02. This is coming from the VBA function, whereas this is coming from the uh, the ratio of the change in the value of the call with respect to change in the value of Vega. Sigma. And can we improve in those? Well, if we make this slightly bigger, nine, 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 and we make the other value uh, smaller, so zero, zero, one, what we find is we have almost identical values. So the analytical vega never changed, but the numerical vega has become has converged to the uh, the numerical vega has converged to the analytical vega